These people could be lost, they could be injured. This is wild country. I just hope they're sticking together. Oh, shit, no, hang Sorry, sorry, carry on. Uh, Russell Coit, how are you? T yeah, you're right, hands up. Oh, just carry on with, or oh, well, when we leave, carry on with whatever you want to. Don't film it, let them, that's fine. But all those adventures. I've got a uh, DVD in the car if you want it uh, later on, OK? Not of you, of uh, my show. time to hit the road. It was obvious this young Swedish backpacker was attracted to my rugged good looks and Aussie bush persona. That Tom is a real character, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. I didn't mind the walk. It was good to learn a little about each other's culture. There you go. She's, uh, she's got, she got a Volvo and... Um, sorry, sorry. I just, I just wanted to break that off. Just, just get that out of the way for when we come back. We can come back a bit quicker. And a great opportunity for me to share with Helena some of the magnificent native fauna you find up here in the high country. But eventually we found what we'd come to find. What do you think? Oh, beautiful. It's a wedge-tailed eagle's nest. They reuse the same one every year. Mm. I just checked this in the eggs. I could tell Helena was impressed. Time to clamber on up and see if anyone was home. A and family sure enough, a wedge-tailed eagle. Not having seen each other for a while, we naturally had a lot to catch up on. Yeah, it looks like that, uh, that rain might wander in this afternoon. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Like most outback people, Jodie loves a chat and she could talk the leg off a camp chair. Yeah, probably a bit later on this afternoon, actually. Mm. But all too soon, it was time to hit the road. These ladies were tourists from down south, travelling through to the Cape. Naturally enough, we got chatting. Turned out they were looking for a lift north. And what better way to end this Aussie odyssey than by helping out a couple of likely lasses. These girls were keen. That very same afternoon, we headed off. No, no, that's fine. You got boyfriends back in the big city, have you? No. And in no time, we were getting on like a house on fire. Uh, well, how far do you go? I mean, on the up the. After yeah. so many days alone on the road, it was good to have some company, and the girls were quick to test my local knowledge. Hey, um, do you know any good places around here to go for swimming? Uh, a swim? Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, that'd, that'd be fantastic. What, all three of us together? Yeah, yeah. Remote beaches are my specialty, and in no time, I found a turn off and headed down a four-wheel drive track to a secluded little spot where no one would bother us. Okay, last one in, right there. <laughs> Time for some action.